Here's my Champions League quarterfinal leg two predictions and betting tips. Who's calling me? Hello? Hello? Who's this? Jordan, it's Mr. Hollywood from Hollywood Bets. Oh, how's it? I'm gonna cut right to the chase. We've intercepted a coded message from the bookies at Dope in July, the greatest horse racing event in Africa. We need you to figure out what the message means. What's the message? Ride the wave. Mr. Hollywood, I've cracked the code. Good work. What is it? Perfect. Now go execute and I'll meet you at the Durban July. To find out more about Ride the Wave, make sure to go click the first link in my video description and sign up for Hollywood Bets. First up, we got Dortmund taking on Atletico Madrid. Now, in the first leg, Dortmund ended up losing 2-1 to Atletico Madrid, where Dortmund controlled the majority of the possession with 67%. But they found themselves 2-0 down for the majority of that game, only scoring in the 81st minute. Sebastian Haller being the scorer for Dortmund. Then in the Bundesliga this last weekend, they came up against Gladbach and ended up beating them 2-1 away from home. In what was a very even game, but Dortmund were just the far more clinical of the two sides, scoring both their goals within six minutes they even got a red card in the 55th minutes and still managed to win that game Dortmund now sit fifth in the Bundesliga they equal on points with RB Leipzig with three wins from their last five games they're also looking to make the semi-finals of the Champions League for the first time since 2013 Dortmund were crowned European champions back in 1997 and they come into this one as favorites given their home record they've been very very good at home but they have suffered a recent loss to Stuttgart at home so how that's going to affect them, we'll have to wait and see. On loan from Manchester United, Jadon Sancho will be missing that match due to illness. But Dortmund will still look to dominate the game against Atletico Madrid. Now, Atletico Madrid in the first leg had fewer possession, but... They were very, very clinical when their chances came. They scored in the fourth minute. And then they came up against Girona this last weekend in La Liga and pulled off a very, very impressive 3-1 win over Girona. Another great performance. Again, had way less possession, but managed to turn three of their four shots on goal into goals. They now sit fourth in La Liga with only one loss in their last five games. They are a very, very good side at the moment. But I just feel like Dortmund, with their side, with their form uh, at home, with the form that they've been in, I think Dortmund will just edge this one. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Dortmund win, but my betting tip is both teams to score. <laughs> Next up, we got Barcelona taking on PSG. Now, in leg one, Barcelona ended up winning 3-2 away from home, which is absolutely massive that they're coming into this, into leg two, uh, a goal up. Uh, PSG had the majority of the possession in leg one, but Barcelona went into halftime 1-0 up. PSG then fought back, scoring two goals within two minutes off the halftime, but then Barcelona with a better side in that second half, scoring the winner in the 77th minute. Rafinha getting two goals goals they also then played against Cadiz in La Liga away from home this last weekend and ended up beating them 1-0 they were just the more clinical side uh Jao Felix getting that goal in the 37th minute they now sit second in La Liga and they've been in very very good form five wins from their last five games across all competitions and they'll be looking to reach the semi-final of the Champions League for the first time since 2019 and they they definitely have the form to do it at the moment they're currently uh, 13 games unbeaten in all competitions 10 of those have been wins and they've only lost twice to PSG in their last eight encounters now PSG they I think they'll be a little bit disappointed with that first leg performance yes they scored two very quick goals but to concede three goals at home and now have to travel away to Barcelona to try and get the job done is going to be very very difficult they were also given the week off in League One over the weekend so that they could pre uh, prepare for this game so they will be fresh the last game they played before uh, their game against Barcelona was against Clermont Foot, where they ended up drawing 1-1. They had to come back from 0-1 down to, uh, to draw that game in the 85th minute. That loss to Barcelona also stopped the impressive 27 unbeaten run uh, in all competitions. So I do think Barcelona are a little bit more in form at the moment PSG will be a little bit fresher but I just think at home Barcelona will have too much for them they just have to draw the game I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw my betting tip is Barcelona to win or draw an over one and a half goals 
Next up, we got Bayern Munich taking on Arsenal. Now, the first leg ended in a 2-2 draw. Bayern Munich only had 40% possession in that game and half the chances to, uh, compared to Arsenal, but they went into halftime 2-1 up. Saka actually opened the scoring for Arsenal in the 12th minute, and then Bayern uh, came back with two goals. Harry Kane getting one of those goals, and then Trossard equalized in the 76th minutes. But both of these sides have had a little bit of a disappointing week. Yes, they both came off that 2-2 draw, which I definitely think Bayern Munich will be the happier of the two teams. But Bayern are also coming off a 2-0 win over Cologne in the Bundesliga. But it's now official that they cannot win the Bundesliga this season. Bayer Leverkusen have gone and done it. They've gone unbeaten through the entire season, which is absolutely ridiculous. And Bayern Munich now sitting second in the Bundesliga, tied on points with Stuttgart. They only have two wins in their last five games. There's something going on with this Bayern Munich side. They just haven't been at their best. But now that the pressure of the Bundesliga is off their shoulders, I think they're going to put all their eggs into the Champions League basket. And I think we could be seeing a very, very lethal performance from Bayern Munich uh, on Tuesday or Wednesday. Then Arsenal, again, I, they'll be disappointed with that 2-2 draw against Bayern Munich, uh, given the, uh, the possession and the chances they had in that game. They probably should have won that game. They then followed that up with a 0-2 loss to Aston Villa at home. They've now slipped into second in the Premier League. Manchester City are now first. But again, Arsenal, we spoke about them last season, how they bottled the Premier League last season. So they'll be looking not to bottle the Premier League and add, add some Champions League pressure on that. It's going to be very, very difficult. Uh, Arsenal going through that dip and that loss against Aston Villa is exactly what Bayern Munich wants to see. And I wouldn't be surprised if Bayern Munich absolutely blow Arsenal out of the water here. It's going to be a very, very difficult ask to go away to Munich and to try and get a result. They lost two times. They went away to Bayern Munich. They lost 5-1 on both occasions. For me, I think Bayern are dangerous because they're not worried about Bundesliga anymore and they'll want to win this competition for Thomas Tuchel. So I'm going to go for a 3-1 Bayern Munich winner. My betting tip is Bayern Munich overall winners. <laughs> And finally, we got Manchester City taking on Real Madrid. The clash of the Titans, the defending champions, Manchester City taking on the most successful team in Champions League history, Real Madrid. Now, this is a replay of last year's semi-final where Manchester City ended up beating them 4-0 extremely comfortably at the Etihad. Now, the first leg between these two teams ended in a 3-3 draw. It was one of the best games that we've seen in a while. Both sides playing some seriously good football and I do think Manchester City will be the happier of the two teams with that draw. Now, Real Madrid only a 38% possession in that game and they still managed to score three goals. It's just going to be a bit of a different task away from home. But Real Madrid are in good form. They're also coming off a 1-0 win over Mallorca in the Liga away from home. They sit at the top of La Liga with everything set for another title win there. They're unbeaten in their last five games and we know how successful they are in this competition. The problem is is Manchester City are in very, very good form. They're coming off a 5-1 win over Luton Town in uh, the Premier League this last weekend. Arsenal and Liverpool drop points, so now they sit in, the, in first in the EPL and they're looking to win both competitions again. This will be the eighth meeting between these two sides in the Champions League. And I have to think that Manchester City are favorites here. Just because of the form that they're in, the history that they've had with Real Madrid recently in a semi-final, in, ch in Champions League, and just the form that Man City have been in in the Premier League recently. So for me, I'm going to go for a 3-2 Manchester City win. But my betting tip is both teams to score. <laughs> 